Hello everyone, part two of my Nations League jersey review. Um, I think we gotta get right to it. Maybe first things first, of course the color you rec recognize, it's a Dutch jersey. It's my first Dutch jersey from 2000. And four, the other two that I have that I'm wearing are hanging up here. Here, orange and the black one. We'll look at those when time comes. But now we gotta go to the jerseys. Don't want to waste too much time on them. We start of course with Portugal in group three. And yeah, the home jersey is in many ways a very nice looking Portugal jersey. It's red. Yes, it has this uh, Nike striping on the sleeves, which is in a kind of a light, slightly uh, brighter red. Uh, and the green color, uh, it's basically all I expect from a Portugal home jersey. Maybe the color is weird. This is one of those Nike colors where it looks a little bit like a false shirt color because it kind of this edge here. That's the part that I don't like too much. Also, maybe there is, maybe it's a little bit too plain in a way. Uh, if I look on the back, it's also, I mean, all that I expect, there is the red and the green taping on the back, which makes sense since it's a Portuguese flag. I would maybe expect a little bit more. They have this nice circular symbol on the flag. Maybe that could have added, could have been added on top there too. I also find that the red uh, is kind of a little bit, not a little bit, it's kind of invisible. So making this all green probably might have made more sense. I actually do like the golden numbers, especially since it's kind of the first true golden generation because they won the Euros. The away jersey is very similar to the France away jersey. I don't like as much. Um, it is plain white and then it has this, I call it the mosquito swarm of green on the front that really accentuates the belly area. Uh, which would make more sense if they were all beer drinking players with considerable bellies there. <sighs> I don't get it. If you want to make a, I mean, it's all crosses that make this pattern. If you want to make a cross pattern, then really make the cross go for it full time. At least the numbers uh, in red make sense. Again, should be centered, not on the side. Uh, and also, you can see here much better that there's actually this cross pattern is also featured on the numbers on the back. Now to the other team that is missing, was missing at the World Cup, which is of course Italy. And yeah, a few Italy jerseys up there and many in, a few more in my wardrobe. Uh, I was a little bit hot and cold on this jersey. It is the Puma Temple and it's kind of, this is the, the Italy jersey is one of the jerseys for Puma where they really want to go all out and show their new um, things. And yeah, I never really liked that this, the top is a little bit lighter, although it's not as bad like with the Uruguay jersey. And it looks very similar to Uruguay jersey, it's just in royal blue, the whole thing. However, why navy or um, black, I think it's more navy, on the collar and on the sleeves. Maybe, just maybe, because in 2006 they also had some navy accents on their jersey, which actually I didn't like back then. Well, I do like how I was the new crest. The old crest I was never a fan of, and I have quite a few jerseys with that one. This one looks much, much better. Uh, of course, I still would prefer just the Italy shield, but this one is very close to that, and I actually really like that one. Uh, maybe get rid of the circle below Italia, and we are talking. But overall, this is a huge improvement. I actually was looking forward to get this jersey for the World Cup in a way, but no, I didn't. I uh, also like how the Italian flag is on the sleeve trims. Um, that's also a nice feature. We see here the numbers, of course, the wonderful um, Italy lettering, uh, which is kind of, I think, most of the time they look at, they have it that plain, but when it was released, there was a little bit more structure to it. Maybe um, we'll see it that uh, they go with this more uh, complicated font. Also, there's a little Italy flag on the back. Um, I think they could have used a, something a little bit better there. The away jersey is very plain. It's a Swiss jersey in uh, white with blue accents and of course the new crest, which actually looks nice here with the blue background. But yeah, a little disappointed. But on the other side, I don't think it's that bad because if you have the blue numbers, uh, 
there's something for the simplicity. And again, you have on the sleeve cuffs, you have the Italy flag. So maybe it's not as bad. For the Swiss jersey, it looked more boring because of whatever the Switzerland is putting here with the Federation crest to the right. And then just the Swiss flag on, on the left. It's a little bit more glorious for the Italy jersey. Yes, I would like to see a little bit more. Of, especially, I would like to see the crew neck being all in blue. But it doesn't need much more. Would I like to see the blue chest band? Maybe, but I think this is nice. I think uh, Italy jersey, away jersey, I don't expect much more. And then the third team we saw also at the World Cup was, of course, Poland. And yeah, the home jersey, uh, very simple. It has this diagonal divide on there, um, which with the lighter part on the right and the darker part uh, towards uh, the left on the, on, on the bottom. So that makes it a little bit interesting. I like how the eagle pops on this white jersey, but I don't like that the collar has the same flaw that I already said has the Portugal jersey has. If this is just a plain red collar, maybe even goes all the way around, make a nice v-neck. I think this would look nice, but I also feel the sleeve cuffs need a little bit more, but Nike sleeve cuffs this time around don't have much. So it's an overall an okay jersey, but nothing exciting. I mean, there's even nothing on the back. Uh, I wonder, I think, there was, yeah, there was the Polish eagle, but it's white. Why don't make it red uh, on the taping on, on the back? But there's really not much to it. Uh, and the away jersey is red in the same pattern. We have a little darker red on the left and on the bottom. And the color doesn't stick out at all, which is not a bad thing, but it looks a little bit too plain for my liking, honestly. The white number saving it also that you can actually see the eagle here. But again, nothing too fancy. I actually have to say that um, when Poland hosted the Euros, they had nice, they had nicer jerseys. Uh, and I think the last two iterations were kind of boring -y template. I mean, they tried to teach something. There's always a little pattern on there that makes it maybe just interesting enough. So maybe I shouldn't say boring. There is something interesting to look at, but I liked previous jerseys for Poland better. And then we're in the last group, which is group four, of course. And this is also one of those marquee groups because there's also three uh, interesting teams. And the first one is, of course, Spain. Um, yeah, and I was looking at this jersey a few times to get it. I don't have it yet, although they sell it, uh, sold it once for half price and so on. But then I decided better get Belgium. And, you know, not quite there yet. I'm not entirely sold on it. Uh, I like that they're referencing the 94 jersey, but the way it's done, it's kind of an afterthought. It's tucked away on the right side. And I'm sorry, I know this is yellow and navy with striping, but with the red, it really looks yellow and purple, which is the flag of the Spanish Republic, which no one wants to hear about. That, I think, is a miss. And make the pen a little bit more. Let it go a little bit more into the jersey. The way it looks, it's really an afterthought on that one. Other than that, it's nice, but not much more. I mean, I like the yellow stripes here. I don't like that the collar is just this plain crew neck. And I think the crest is also monochromatic, which, yeah, has been happening. But if they go full color crest, if you see my, saw my video yesterday evening, um, or even before, on the Spain away jersey from 2010, this is a full color crest. It's a beauty. The back, there's nothing there except uh, the horrible numbering font. The away jersey, however, and I also saw that a few times, I really dislike. Um, at first, it's not as bad, but if you look at up close, this is uh, gray with light blue accents and then orange. And I don't understand the orange part of it. Spain doesn't use any orange. Make this red. And it makes more sense. Also, the light blue, use something darker. And you have this, they like the Dutch away jersey we saw, try to do something similar. But of course, it was Nike here. Adidas is copying the exact pattern. I mean, it's in 2018 version, but this is the exact pattern that the Dutch home shirt in 88 had. And I wonder why, but you know, they have been moving things around and probably it makes some sense because what the Dutch were playing was actually adopted by the Spanish. So there is a direct lineage there, thanks to Johan Cruyff, of course. But yeah, I just don't like it. This orangey red, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like the color. Honestly, the light blue, there's just too little there. I really dislike this one. 
I'm sorry to say. Uh, I cannot get myself to like it. Oh, on the back it looks even, it's just too garish in a way and nonsensically. It doesn't make sense in the context of a Spanish national team. However, I do like the English shirt a lot. And yeah, where is it? Uh, over there. Of course, uh, behind me here is the England shirt. Uh, that one, I know it is simple and many are complaining, but I like the simplicity. I like the red on the collar. I really like that feature. Um, I like that they use red numbers and otherwise the blue accent. This, uh, there's something really about the jersey I like. And then with the pants, the blue ones, I really love this one. And then the English team played well at the World Cup. So I finally got an England jersey <laughs> in a way. And I even like the font. It has something nice at first. Was like, well, what was that? But this with the cross making a letter, really cool. Really cool feature. And of course, you have the St. George's uh, cross on the back. I've made a video about this. I've written a longish post. This is a great jersey. And I can say almost similar things for the away jersey, which is of course in red and it has the St. George's cross. Maybe the pattern is a little bit too obtrusive in a way, but there is the St. George's cross on there. I wish maybe for, yeah, maybe I, I, I know maybe just plain red works well for England. I was wondering about a white color, but I think this works well for England. Now don't, uh, you, sh you shouldn't change that much. Uh, again, the St. George's Cross is in red on red taping. Make the taping white and then you have the St. George's Cross on there. I think this would make a little bit more sense. But as I said, the England kids are some of the nicer ones at the World Cup. And then of course is the big outsider, that's Croatia. Not outsider, but you know, in terms of kids. Those were the kids that are, the kids that I disliked most and they made it all the way, to, all the way to the final with that. I was happy for Croatia to go there. I just don't like their jerseys. The jacket pattern so large was already a tough pill to swallow. Then, okay, they put the number in one of the center, but yeah, Nike did this. So maybe the size, you can contain all the features, but then you have this weird zigzaggy pattern. The red shoulders, it just looks a little bit too brute force and not as um, playful. And then you have the back all in white, but that might change. And here we have the blue numbers. And then the away jersey is the same thing, and just horrible, 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 horrible colors. I really hate the away jersey here. I gotta say that. Uh, the Croatia away jersey was always one that I looked forward to a lot, but in this navy and black or whatever it is, I really disliked that one. A light blue, lighter blue, like this is how a Croatia jersey does it. Yeah. Was not meant to be, and they wore this five times at the World Cup. Yeah, Croatia has always a trouble with wearing their home jersey. Well, that was it. Let me know what you thought about these jerseys, whether you agree or disagree with me, which ones do you like, which one do you dislike. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.